name's Nolan Arbaugh. Science fiction becomes science fact. The paralyzed man who controls a computer with his thoughts. Now, it may sound like the stuff of science fiction, but a paralyzed man from Arizona has had a microchip implanted in his brain that allows him to control a computer with his thoughts. Noland Arbor was injured in a diving accident, but now, after years of being totally dependent on others, Noland says his life is transformed, as Laura Trant reports. In an instant, Noland's life changed and the most basic tasks were not doable. You just have sort of no control, no privacy, and it's, it's hard. And you just have to learn that you have to rely on other people for everything. But eight years on, Noland became the first person to get this brain device from Neuralink, a U.S. neurotechnology firm whose founder is Elon Musk. I just imagine the sensation or what it might look like to wiggle my fingers, something along those lines, and I could get the cursor to move. Now I could actually control my computer with just my thoughts. A handful of other companies have also developed and implanted similar chips. So how do these brain chips work? The device is sitting in the motor region of the brain. It's picking up when someone's thinking about like tapping their fingers. It can create what we call a digital motor output. And that's what's being used with a computer directly to click on things. Back in Arizona, Noland hopes his brain power means a fulfilling future. Laura Trant, BBC News. Amazing.